It is an unusual partnership. The Arkansas Department of Correction teaming up with animal shelters and rescue organizations for a program called Paws in Prison to help keep dogs from being euthanized. Heather Crawford visited a prison to see how it works, and she joins us now with what she found out. And it is an interesting concept, to say the least. It really is. You know, walking into prison, I expected to see these hardened criminals, and I was surprised to see these big, burly guys letting dogs lick them all over their face. <laughs> it's really a unique program, and it's not only saving the dogs' lives, it's transforming many of the inmates' lives, hopefully helping them become more productive citizens once they are released from prison. And it's not costing taxpayers a dime. No. No, sir. For more than three decades, Charles Couch has been locked up in prison, convicted of what he describes as a crime of passion. I caught my wife and another man together and I killed them both. And that was 33 years ago almost. He was sentenced to life without parole. Now almost 60 years old, he says he is a new man, thanks in large part to a companion you typically don't see in prison, a companion named Honey. Uh, she's taught me, I don't know, to love again, I guess. I guess you could say that. Wait. Take it. Take it. Yeah. Leave it. Yes. Couch is one of hundreds of inmates who applied to participate in the Pauls in Prison program at Washita River Correctional Unit in Malvern. He and about a dozen others were hand-selected because of good behavior while behind bars. Good job. Each week, trainer Carrie Kessler comes to the unit to work with the inmates and teach them how to train these pups. What we do is we go into shelters, mostly high kill shelters, around the state and find dogs with good temperaments. We pull those dogs, we have them vetted, we make sure they're healthy. They then come into the prison units where they're paired with uh, two trainers. And those trainers spend six to eight weeks with the dog training them. Without this program, dogs like Pepper would likely be euthanized. And that's something the inmates realize and work hard to train them so that they can be adopted. When they come to us, they're getting a second chance. When they go to their new owner, we call it getting paroled, getting clemency. And they got their second chance in life. From house training to teaching them basic obedience and beginning agility, the inmates work with the canines around the clock. They live right in the barracks with the prisoners. Honey is the third dog Couch has trained since the program began in the Arkansas Department of Correction in December. Now I've done something with Honey that I haven't done, didn't let the other two do. I'm letting Honey get in the bed with <laughs> I know. Honey, she, you know, she'll stay at the foot of the bed. If she starts to uh, get in the middle of the bed, you just nudge her with your foot, point, and she'll go right back where she's supposed to be. Many of the inmate trainers, like William Bentley, who is serving time for aggravated robbery, admit that while they are teaching the dog skills, the dogs are teaching them invaluable lessons to help them reacclimate to the outside world when they are released. Patience. Each time he pays him responsibility because I'm, I'm not used to having to take care of anything or anybody else other than myself. And, I, and on the streets, my mom was taking care of me, so, you know, they taught me how to take care of something other than me. I was guess I was kind of like antisocial. And uh, like having him make me kind of be more social, like, because everybody want to pet the dog, everybody want to grub him, and everybody want to see him, and they want to talk to him. I, I have to deal with him also. It really means, you know, you know, these dogs, they're dependent on us, so it gives me more responsibility, you know, it's helping me to be, you know, to get to myself to get ready for whenever I get out. But I can see them uh, developing self-confidence in themselves, a sense of accomplishment in being able to do something to give back to the community. Assistant Warden Jeremy Andrews, who was skeptical of the program at first, says the impact it has had on his unit has been remarkable. It's not only boosted the morale of inmates and staff, he's also seen a drop in violence. It's improved greatly. Uh, the numbers uh, as far as grievances and different things within the department have actually gone down. I, I guess I used to get in a, a, little, a lot of trouble. Now I don't want to get in any. I try my best to stay away from all of it because if you get in any trouble, you can't have a dog. Then I see other guys that get in trouble or used to get in trouble. Now they're trying to keep a clean slate because now they want to sign up and try to get a dog eventually. And they know you have to be out of trouble to get that. Stay. And while these dogs are getting a second chance at life, so are the inmates themselves. Many of them have an interest now 
in finding a career with dogs or working with animals. And there's something about the compassion that they've learned and that they're able to express through this program that I truly believe they're going to be better people. As for Charles Couch, saying goodbye to his good friend Honey once she graduates from the program won't be easy. But he takes comfort in knowing she will go to a good home. Friendliness, compassion, I would put all those words together, you know, that's what the dog has taught us. And bringing it back to the dog itself, we're saving their lives. And uh, that's probably the most important thing of all. We're saving the dog life. And most of the dogs that you saw in our story are still available for adoption. And foster families are also needed. We posted more information with links on how you can adopt one on our website, katv.com. So. Yeah, a heartwarming story. And certainly it seems to be very effective. You mentioned at the first of the piece, though, taxpayers not paying a dime for this. So no. how, how's it being paid for? solely on private donations. It costs on average about $350 to train one of these dogs. Right now the program is in five Arkansas Department of Correction prisons, but to keep the department, uh, the program going, the department says that it does need the public support, but right now solely funded on private donations. So it really was um, an interesting experience to go into the prison and see how it's working and what it's doing. It's a yeah. huge impact that seems to be having a ripple effect. Yeah, we hope it uh, continues to have an effect after some Absolutely. of those prisoners get out. Uh, Heather, thanks very much. Mm -hmm.